talk a little TV, shall yes. we? It used to be that you could take a TV time out during the summer, but yes. not anymore. Believe it or not, there's about 70 shows that will premiere between now and September. It's a lot to choose from. That's why we put together a panel of experts, TV guides, Matt Rausch, ET Online, TV editor, Leanne Aguilera, and our own Brooke Anderson to help figure out what to watch and why. Predators kill for food. But these people were just murdered. Oh, there it is, the new CBS drama, Zoo. It is where the animals on Earth turn on the human race. It's one of the new dramas that I just can't wait to see. And a big reason why is it's based on a James Patterson best-selling novel, so it'll probably be rich. I've got to say, the drama that I am most excited about is AMC's Fear the Walking Dead. Of course, me too. It is the prequel to the Smash series, and we're finally going to find out how this crazy zombie epidemic got started. Reports in five states that a strange virus is going around, so if you're not feeling well, go home, take care of yourself. The zombies, I cannot wait to get them back on TV. But the other show this season that I think there's so high anticipation for is the second season of True Detective on HBO. It's a brand new story, brand new characters. Sometimes your worst self is your best self. Ben Spawn and Colin Farrell, Rachel McAdams. You get these movie stars because it's a limited commitment from them. And again, it's just a terrific franchise. My strong suspicion is we got the world we deserve. Oh yeah, and the True Detective script's so solid. Twisty and dark, it's great. We also have the Astronaut Wives Club, which is kind of like Mad Men meets Desperate Housewives. And it's really fun, I've seen the first four episodes and I liked it. Our husbands all want to go up first. It's our job to help them get what they want. I'm gonna call the president. I'd like to place a call to the White House, please. Well, I'm also pumped about Dwayne Johnson's new drama, Ballers, and so is TV Guide. It's his first scripted series, and he plays a retired football star who mentors players. Right now, my dreams are all about deals and dollars. I'm your financial manager, and I will put your money to work. Christian Slater stars in the USA series Mr. Robot as the leader of an underground hacker group trying to take down CEOs who are running the world. And here's what I love. It totally reminds me of his Rebel Days starring in Heathers. Chaos is great. And fans of the Scream franchise can have nightmares each and every week when the TV series hits MTV. You have a dark mind. You have no idea. All right, I think it is time, you guys, to talk a little bit of comedy. So I'm going to say The Brink could be one to watch here because it stars Jack Black, it stars Tim Robbins, and both those guys are on point in whatever they do. Here they are caught in a geopolitical crisis that has the world on the verge of World War III. Where do they find time to do all this protesting? Don't they have jobs? Who the hell's a drone when you need one? Yeah, that looks great. It's almost like Homeland played for laughs. I, I can't wait to see more of the break. That's just awesome. I am eagerly anticipating Wet Hot American Summer, first day of camp, and it's based off of the cult classic comedy yeah. movie. Amy Poehler, Paul Rudd, Elizabeth Banks, Bradley Cooper, but there's newcomers like John Hamm as well as Kristen Wiig. And I love that they're playing the younger characters. Exactly. <laughs> Matt Roush, Leanne Aguilera, thank you both. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to add that there's one more television movie that I What's am that? all in for and so excited to see. You know what it is? What? Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> that, I love saying that title. I just do. It airs July 22nd on Sci-Fi.